What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and it is time to report about another incident that came out of Southeast Asia. This time we're talking about Indonesia, a country located in Southeast Asia. It is the biggest Muslim country in the entire world. What's interesting here is that Indonesia removed visa-free access for Western tourists. And if you've watched some of my past videos about Indonesia, you probably know how I feel about the country. I think it's one of the best countries in the entire world. Considering the fact that I was racially profiled by Indonesia, which is an experience that you would expect when traveling to the Far East, the Orient, because when you're traveling to the Orient, right, you're looking for this Oriental mystery. And part of this Oriental mystery is being racially profiled, right? That's what you want, right? And when you go to the Far East, that's actually what you're after. And so I was actually very blessed when this happened, you know, when I arrived in Indonesia, when I arrived at the border, and I was pulled into the inspection room, you know, I was um, pretty much racially profiled, you know, and I was actually very happy that this happened because if not, you know, it wouldn't have been such a nice experience, you know, it wouldn't have been such a thrilling experience. I was actually quite happy that this happened, you know. I mean, there's nothing bad about being wrongfully detained by Indonesia's customs, right, because why wouldn't you want that? It's a pretty nice experience, actually. Especially when, when they pull you in and tell you, what the hell are you doing in our country? You have a European passport, why are you coming into our country? And you're white, you're European, why are you coming here? You know, that's actually the kind of question that you want to be asked when you're coming to Indonesia. I was actually very happy that it happened, you know? Since I, I was so happy about this whole experience, I never went back. You know, I still don't want to go back because I've experienced enough happiness in this country that I don't need any more happiness like this. Anyway, let's get into this article here by visaguide.world. They are publishing news on Asia quite frequently right now. And headline says, Indonesia suspends visa-free entry for all except Asian countries. Basically, Indonesia, Vietnam, Laos, Brunei, Thailand, Myanmar, Philippines, Cambodia, Singapore, and Malaysia. Well, maybe a few more countries are part of it, not officially, but maybe some East Asian countries are part of it as well. The opening starts, quote, Indonesia has decided to hold its visa-free visits policy for 159 countries due to concerns of public order disruptions. Interesting, public order disruptions and the potential transmission of diseases. Now, let me tell you what this means, okay? COVID changed the whole landscape and many Asian countries believe that the foreigners brought COVID into their lands, which is true. They're talking about public order disruption. Okay, what does that mean? You know, this is a very formal statement here, a very formal phrase used to describe something that the Indonesian government, you know, because Indonesia is a majority Muslim country, and so they don't want to talk about certain aspects of life, you know, as openly as you would hope for. And what we are talking about here is, of course, cultural influence from Western countries, from Western societies. And what we are talking about here is, of course, the Western sex culture, which is not really talked about in Indonesia at all. And for good reason, right? Indonesia is a majority Muslim country. And based on that, you know, certain things are not talked about. And that's fine, you know? Cultures are different, religions are different, and I completely respect that. But that's one of the main reasons. If you take a look at how the landscape changed in Bali, you know? what Western tourists have done to Bali, I mean, in a good way and in a bad way, because Western tourists, right, the Westernization of Bali, even if it's not, you know, to the same extreme as it is in other countries like, you know, Thailand, for example, right? But still a lot of things have changed in Indonesia because of Western influence. While Bali is not a majority Muslim island, in, in fact, other religious groups make up for the majority in Bali. And there are a couple of more islands in Indonesia that don't possess a Muslim majority population, right? There are some islands in Indonesia that don't have that. However, the majority of Indonesia is Muslim you know, the majority, I think it's like 87% or so, depending on what statistic you look at. So what's important to notice here is that Indonesia says, okay, we don't want any more Western influence. And maybe that had to do with the fact that, you know, Indonesia had now this experience during COVID. So when they're talking about public order disruption, they're really talking about not wanting Western tourists to take a trip to Bali and have a good time. 
I always think that we need to respect the host country, okay? But if certain things are already present in the host country, it's very natural to fall in line and do the same things. What we're talking about here is, of course, hookup culture, right? This is already part of the culture in Bali. Of course, that's not talked about in the news at all. Neither is it talked about by my fellow YouTubers because the ones living in Indonesia, they don't want to get booted from the country. So it makes perfect sense why they would not want to address certain issues that are not culturally accepted to be talked about on this platform because this platform is monitored by the government of Indonesia as much as it is as it is monitored by other governments and so because of that you know we see that youtubers and foreigners don't move ahead with talking about these very sensitive and not so accepted topics but on this channel since I am not located in Asia we can talk about these subjects freely and openly what I am saying you here is just a cold hard reality of the current cultural situation in Indonesia and how it has evolved over the past decade if you went to Bali Indonesia 100 years ago most of what you see today did not exist or even 50 years ago most of what you see today did not exist it started just a couple of decades ago with Asian countries becoming richer they are now prohibiting certain people to get easy access to their countries which does make sense for instance it was easier to migrate from Europe to the United States before and during World War II than it is to migrate to the United States today so things have tightened everywhere so I'm not blaming the government for doing that but you also need to understand that you're not welcome in this country you know to the same degree as you were welcome maybe five years ago prior to the pandemic the pandemic allowed governments to rethink their strategy and how they want to pursue you know migration in the foreseeable future you know these changes have been implemented and not to your advantage not to the advantage of the tourist of the backpacker right of the expat no just isn't so that's something you need to consider when going to Indonesia now that you know the country is in a very fragile situation position whatever you want to call it and that the visa rules can change from one day to the next leaving you you know with a lot of guesswork now what do you think they mean by potential transmission of diseases COVID's over we really need to consider the full picture here right and some countries were more affected by COVID than others no doubt COVID did a lot of harm in many countries millions of people died it was terrible and in some countries more people died than in others in Asian countries you know where you have a much lower median age than you have for instance in Japan or Italy it would have made a lot of sense for those countries to implement more lenient COVID policies you know and probably no lockdowns because their population was not at risk as much as the population let's say of Japan or of Italy in Southeast Asia I mean generally speaking people are slim and like I said they're younger and they're healthy so the chances of them dying from COVID are just a lot smaller right they're a lot thinner than people you know that are from a Western country they are, are obese that are already older or they have preconditions I'm not saying that people in Asia don't have preconditions they certainly have preconditions because of air pollution right lack of environmental awareness and other factors that we have also addressed on this channel in the past and so based on that I, I feel like the lockdowns the extreme lockdowns and the crazy COVID policy that were implemented in that region much much longer than they were implemented in other countries were pretty much irrational to the point where people realized that okay these policies that these countries put in place were actually predicated on change they want to change but in a different area right they want to change in terms of re-regulating their immigration policies and they have done it successfully if you've lived in Asia prior during and after COVID you have witnessed insane changes across the board we're not just talking about Indonesia here we're talking about Malaysia uh, Cambodia Thailand the Philippines Vietnam Myanmar Laos I mean all these countries you know went crazy and so you know that you know while in some countries yeah the visa situation is still the same we're talking about the Philippines here specifically the Philippines in other countries you know governments have used this time to readjust their visa policies and make them custom tailored towards wealthier expats right to uh, towards you know richer people vacationing in these countries now if you're in a situation where you're not sure whether you still want to live in Indonesia or not because you don't want to go over the process of applying for a visa 
then what other options do you have? Well, you can go to nearby countries that still allow you to enter visa free. And the countries we're talking about here are Thailand and of course the Philippines. You can also go to Malaysia, right? But Indonesia might not be the best option for you right now. Is it still worth traveling to Indonesia or not? Are you gonna put up with these changes? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe now and turn on alerts to never miss any of my future nomadism, dating, and business advice videos. Thank you for watching.